Uh, the last time I done a live review of something, I fell over and it looks very funny on the replays. So today, what have I got for you? And if you've only just joined me, please subscribe and please share. Now, <laughs> what have I got for you today? Well, if you haven't seen what the caption is, well, it's actually a Premier Cornish pasty, but it's a little bit different. This is a straightforward pork and apple, which is a bit odd, really, for a Cornish pasty. But I suppose this is the Cornish for you. They do like to put other things in their pasties other than just meat and other things. They want to put a chicken in or pork. Something a little bit different. So rolling on, so let's have a look at the frozen pie to start with. Now you can buy these directly from Cornish Premier. They are supplied through other suppliers, but if you go down on a website, I'll sling down the link below the description, then you've actually got that in place. Now it's has got some herby stuff on the top there. Heaven knows what that tastes like, but it does look like a straightforward Cornish pasty. Only difference is to me, the last time I've seen this one, it was actually looking a bit heavier than this. And this one looks quite a light one. It's not very wide. It doesn't look as though there's gonna be a lot in it. Interesting enough. Hmm, okay. Right, so let's have a look at the contents. There it is, lots of it, and there's numbers of nutrients as well. And if you didn't know anything else, there we go, best before. And they do come as a box of 36 to me. But of course, if you're buying them, you can get them off their website, which I sh will share the link below. And they are going to set you around about 29 quid for about 10. And that's delivered to your door. Now, when you go down on the website, you will find a number of different suppliers that actually supply this pasty. But these are people who are sat down in Cornwall waiting to send them out. You know, so they're waiting for your orders or you can just pop into my shop and buy one straight from my bakery. There we go, so let's move on to the baked pie. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Baking instructions. I baked that for an hour today uh, and it did look fine. And it was a 180 Celsius for like, it's supposed to be 55 minutes, but I, well, I did it for an hour. I just thought it needed it. So let's have a look at the pie. Yes, doesn't that look cool? That does look the business. Fat test, mm, about the standard for a pasty, especially from Cornwall. Once again, it does look the business. So let's try a bit of the pastry first. It's probably their standard one. Yeah, it's just, it's just the standard premier pasty, pasty pastry, which is nothing to talk about. I've tasted better, but needless to say, they've got awards for these pasties and it's from the Eden Project. Now for me, the last time I went to the Eden Project, I couldn't even get in. But when I did get in, they gave me a free ticket because they're never shut, but they did shut the day I went, uh, 24th of January, 12 year ago. Needless to say, let's cut a rope and have a look inside. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, there's one thing with Premier Cornish, they fill their pies. So let's have a look at the content of it. And I think you'll agree, this is well filled. And there we go, look at that. Isn't that a lot of filling? You can see all that chicken, well, sorry. <laughs> I got chicken on my brain today. 
Uh, <laughs> you can see all that pork in there and the apple and that pastry is just baked to perfection. It's just nice that is. No doughiness in there. All that potato and I'm guessing there could be onions and stuff in there as well. But I do see a lot of pepper and you know I don't like pepper that much. But there we go. I don't want the crust. Remember, the crusts were only there designed for the miners to keep, keep the pie from getting dirty. And then remember the old days, they used to have a piece on there and the miner, he'd only eat half the pasty and throw the other off weight. But the Cornish was a favorite. They'd put the meat in the top part and the, and the sweet in the bottom part. So when they're down the mine, they have their lunch up here. And then in the bottom, they have like their apple pie which goes, makes sense, doesn't it? Right, so let's have the taste test. Hmm. This would be interesting, especially live. Excuse my mouth. <laughs> I'll try and keep it shut. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll get on with it. Mmm. Cool, that's lovely. That pork. That pork is absolutely lush in that. And it's not too much peppery stuff. I'm not a lover of this stuff on the top, I must say. It's not my sort of thing. I think, if anything, that spoils it, that stuff. Uh, but that is really nice. Getting into the onion stuff, this potato, I'm not sure there's onion stuff. I'll have another go. Mmm. Yeah. That's lovely. Uh, God, I could just scrum that down now. It's lunchtime. And whilst I'm recording this, it's 12 o'clock, so. Mmm. <laughs> that is nice. So, going down to what's in it, um, <laughs> it's, it's has got the pepper, it's got the salt, there's no fat in the mouth at all. Because normally when you get, oh God, I'm getting a kick of the pepper now. But there's no leftovers of fat in your mouth. You, you know, when you have duff pastry, the first thing you do is get a mouthful of fat. And then sometimes, like I've reviewed some pies last week, and the same thing was, the gravy was just full of fat. So in your mouth, all you've got is a mouthful of fat. And who wants that in a pie? Or a pasty? We had this, uh, a discussion in the weekday somebody says why do I call my pies pies because in the bakery industry we call them pies whether they're a pasty or a sausage roll it's just the way we do things well that that is very nice it's got lashings inside it's absolutely full and that's why we buy them in our shop we buy these to sell so if they ain't no good we won't be buying them now I dare to say it's, it's easy for me to say, because I'm selling them a 10 out of 10, but I'm honest here, and my truth about it. Uh, I'm gonna say, it's very, very nice. And the thing that lets it down is this stuff on the top. I'm not a lover of this. But generally speaking, that pork and apple is lush. And I'm gonna say, it's a good eight and a half out of 10. I'm not gonna go to Full Monty because they are mass produced down in Cornwall. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of Cornish ladies and gentlemen down in the factory packing these, uh, folding these, giving them the crimp because I've seen the footage of it. So I know those guys down there are working hard every day of the week producing these pies. Unlike the place next to it, not far away, uh, dare I say the word, Ginsters, which I don't believe that's a pasty anymore. I'm not really sure why they call it a Cornish pasty because it's actually the factory's borderline between uh, Cornwall and Devon. So I'm not really sure and one half of the factory's in Devon and the one half is in Cornwall. And are they making, making and baking them in the Cornish side or the Devon side? I'm not really sure. Hmm. Don't get me on that one. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this live review. 
And if it works out, I'll probably do more like this because it saves me a lot of time editing. Because to be honest, editing is probably the worst thing you can actually do when you're a YouTuber. Because it's going back to the nitty gritty of going through the computer, rendering everything, and then even if it's a 10 minute video, sometimes it takes nearly an hour and a half to actually put it onto YouTube before I can actually do anything with it. Well, there you go, folks. If you do like this type of video, do subscribe. <laughs> if you do like this type of video, please subscribe and please share. I don't know how many times I'll say that, but I'm trying not to say it too often. You know where the buttons are. Go for it, press it, and if you like it, press the like button. You know it. But do check out the description because I will put the link to where you can buy these from. They do sell lots and lots of different things as well. And well, there we go. And I hope that went down well. I'm hoping to have this lot done so soon. So if you see this mess behind me, yes, it's going. Me video, <laughs> sorry, my kitchen, my YouTube kitchen is almost done. I'm lying. I've just done the floor video yesterday and I'm finishing the floor video off in a minute. Then next week, uh, all the units are all going back in. Excellent stuff. And all I've got to do is put the sort of skirting boards round, which I'll do a video of. So if you want to see those type of videos, if you pop over to my other channel, which is Crazy Baker Unleashed, you'll find all, I will pop the link down below as well. And you can actually see me doing other things besides baking and doing reviews. I do reviews there as well, but mainly I'm doing sort of bits and pieces, all sorts, uh, cars, DIY, painting, decorating, oh, that's the same thing, isn't it? Old school memorabilia. So if you're old folks like me, you like your old stuff. I've got a lot of old stuff I'm gonna be doing shortly on that channel. I can't run it on this one, I used to, but now. And obviously, you'll see power washers, me washing cars and polishing, see what we do every day of the week on the other channel. And this is where we are, baking. And food reviews. And soon, I'll be reviewing that old bus over there, the Sage oven that I've been using. I will tell you a story about that when I'm doing that review, or I might tell you a secret what happened to it. Mm. I'll bet you, guess, you can't guess what happened. I'm not gonna go there now. You wouldn't believe it. Well, I'll give you a clue. I was moving the units around in the studio and someone didn't unplug it. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Laters!